Hey there, Leo. Good afternoon and welcome to your mid-April tarot reading. Welcome to Tree of Life Tarot. My name is Carrie and I'm excited to connect with my Leo So family members today. If you're a returning subscriber, I know we have a lot of Leo So family members out there. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Tree of Life Tarot. I hope you enjoy my energy, my style of reading, and the information and the energies that I'm about to share with you today. We're going to have a beautiful tarot reading for you today, Leo. Uh, to begin with, today is Wednesday, April the 14th. It's my dad's birthday today, so happy birthday to my dad. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to talk about your astrological forecast. So how do you know if you're a Leo or not? If you are born between the dates of July the 23rd and August the 22nd, it means that your sun sign is Leo. You also have what's called moon and rising signs. You have your whole natal chart, actually. So if you're interested in learning about what is my moon and rising sign, you can find out if you know your exact time and your exact place of birth. You need to know those two pieces of information. And you can go to this website. I'll give it to you really quickly. It's www.astroastrosofa.com. It's a beautiful astrological website and doesn't cost anything. So you can type in your information there and it'll calculate. It'll, it'll provide you your whole natal chart. And I mentioned moon and rising signs because if you follow tarot or astrology at all, Sometimes it makes all the sense in the world to follow the reading for your sun sign, but sometimes you're in moon and emotional energies. Other times you're in your rising energy. So if you're aware of what those signs are, you may find that the energies in those readings may resonate stronger with you at any given time. So just helpful information I want to share with you, Leo. Uh, and how do you not love Leos? You know, I have a favorite Leo in my life. It's my grandson, Ezra. Uh, beautiful Leo. He's going to turn two this year. So very excited about that. Okay, Leo. First thing I want to do, I'm going to talk about your astrological forecast. Just really quickly. I want to spend a few minutes here where we look at the month of April, mid-month on, and we see which planets are going to be moving into which specific houses impacting you, Leo. Because depending on the planet and the house that it moves into, it's going to bring you an entirely different energy into your life. So I'm going to make you aware of these energies. Do the best job that I can to describe them to you. So getting started. Uh, just two days ago on the 12th, there was a new moon. And that took place in your ninth house of expansion and beliefs. On the 15th, which is tomorrow, you have the planet Venus, which is the planet of attraction and love moving into your 10th house of work and career. So you have attraction, love, energies combined with work and career. And then on the 20th, the sun moves into your 10th house. So the sun comes in to your work and career energies and it shines a light for you. If, it's, if you do work and you do have a career, if you don't, it's wherever you spend the bulk of your time each day. Um, also on the 20th, you have the planet Mercury planet of thinking, ideas, creative ideas. It's also the planet of communication, uh, communicating to our extended family. It also moves its energies into your 10th house. So you have a lot of energy being focused on your work and career in your 10th house. So some of you inevitably are, are likely going to be experiencing possibly some changes this month in regards to your work or career. You, you know, you may be relocating and taking on a whole new job. Uh, if you're looking for a job, some of you may be landing and finding that job this month. Some of you may experience some diff some increase to your income as well, to your job, or some type of promotion, shift, or change. But a beautiful time, if you're wanting to make changes to your job or your career, to invest energies in whatever kind of energies are going to bring you the kind of changes that you're looking for. Just work with the planets because they're working for you, Leo. Okay, on the 24th, you have the planet Mars, which is the planet of action, energy, drive, and force. It moves into your 12th house of the subconscious. So the 12th house is Pisces energy, right? This is where we go deep, you know, the subconscious kind of energy. So some of you, you know, right around the 24th of April, you may find yourself pulled into tarot. You may find yourselves drawn into astrology, maybe even like the paranormal or pulled into the mysteries of life. Uh, just anything that has to do with the metaphysical. Some of you may be drawn into healing as well. Breathing, yoga, stretching. Okay, on the 27th, you have a full moon happening in your fourth house of the home and family. So with this energy, some of you may be thinking about moving at this time or wanting to move or thinking about moving in some way. 
Uh, it's a beautiful time to invest your energies in your home, into your family, you know, the, the environment that you live in, right, that you're comfortable in. And it can be, changes can be moving pictures around in the house, moving furniture around, redecorating, rearranging. Anytime you're moving pieces of, of furniture like that, they are energy, right? And, and you're moving energy. So you're creating flow in your house. That's why a lot of times when we like, if we take our time and move things in the right areas, you know, we, we always feel so good afterwards. It brings us that revitalized kind of energy. It's because you've moved things around and you've, so you've created more energy and flow in your, in your house. So keep in mind, beautiful time of year for spring cleaning for some of you as well. You know, go through the house and a perfect time to remove the things that just aren't serving you anymore. And don't throw them away if there's value to them. Maybe there's somebody out there that could, you know, whatever's your burden, maybe their blessing or their gift. So who can you give some of these things to? Maybe your favorite charity. You know, maybe you have a list of friends or family that may use some of these things that you're getting rid of. Anyways, there's your astrological forecast, Leo. Let's get into your tarot reading now. Uh, I'm going to pull an affirmation card for you to take you into your reading today. It's from this deck of cards, and I don't know the name of this deck of cards. I don't know if I've misplaced the box. I recognize the cards, but I don't remember buying these set, these cards. So, but the affirmations are beautiful. Let's just see what your guys want you to be aware of taking you into your mid-April tarot reading. Okay, Leo, beautiful energy, a beautiful affirmation taking us into your reading today is it's coming to us as awareness. Let's see what this energy has to say. It says, pay attention to the subtleties. Look with new eyes. There are signs and omens everywhere, right? I really love this affirmation, you know, because it's talking about your awareness, you know, and we, we think about synchronicities in our life. You know, and you guys know what I'm talking about with synchronicities. You know, you could be listening. You could be having a certain type of thoughts, you know, a set of, a set of thoughts in your mind at the time, listening to, to the radio, right? And just for whatever reason, the song that is so beautifully fitting for what you happen to be thinking about and feeling at the time happens to come in. That's a synchronicity, right? So your awareness of that. You may look at the clock and it's, 111 or 1111 that's a synchronicity or you're seeing the number seven a lot or the number nine a lot you know maybe it's your favorite number you're seeing a lot right those are messages from your guides letting you know you're on course you're on track so a beautiful affirmation taking us into your reading it you're being encouraged to raise your level of awareness and pay particular attention to the subtle signs that you have taking place in your life all right, speaking of subtle signs, let's get into your tarot reading now. I want to pull two energies for you from my Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland. This first energy that's coming in is going to come through is present energy. Could also be interpreted as energy as the matter at hand. It's a strong energy for you. Wow, okay, Leo beautiful energy coming in for you. You have the energy of Aquarius. Some of you may be connected to an Aquarius. Light. Um, this is a beautiful energy representing the energy of... Wait, excuse me. This isn't... This is your energy, Leo. This is not Aquarius's energy. This is your, your energy representing the energy of the sun, the sun shining on you. So, you know, fantastic. Uh, what a be what a beautiful energy to have taking us taking us into your tarot reading. You know, I mean, just look at the card and what does it tell us about what's happening with you right now, Leo? You know, I mean, first of all, look at her look at her body language. You know, she's very happy, and she's looking up into the sky. It's like she's reaching for these orbs of light right here. You know, so she's in the yeah, she's reaching reaching up for the light. Some of you may be in that energy. You know, you're reaching towards. Trying to, you may be trying to bring something towards you in your life. We're going to get some clarification, but let's pull another energy for you. This is this energy is going to be coming in as your challenging energy for you.
Okay, so challenging energy coming in for you is coming in as Aries energy. It's coming to us as authority. So your ability to feel your power. Um, you know, I'm just looking at the energy on this card, right? Look at the body language. You know, His arms are crossed. He just seems like he's confident. He also seems like he's... And why do I want to say this? That he's firm in his convictions. You know, so this is an energy coming in as a challenging energy. It's the number four, too, which represents stability and security. So some of you may be challenged, feeling stable and secure in your life as well. Let's get some clarification. Uh, let's clarify your energy showing up as present energy. Tell us about Leo's energy. I'm going to use my Crystal Vision tarot set for the clarifiers. Wow, Leo. And I just glanced at the clock and it was 11.11. Speaking of synchronicities, how's that for awareness? Here you have the sun coming out to clarify the sun, your energy. You know, the, the sun energy is a beautiful energy. It, it represents the energy of, I feel free. You know, I feel like I'm living life, having fun with childlike enthusiasm. And if I'm living life with childlike enthusiasm, really don't have any room in my life for fear and worries and anxieties right and it's almost like this is being clarified to you leo with the sun coming out twice some of you may be connected to another leo as well let's clarify the sun let's clarify the sun for leo Okay, Leo, you have the Hierophant energy coming out. So what is it? What this tells us is you're in a very spiritual energy right now, right? Maybe feeling feeling very spiritually rejuvenated, you know. Uh, and maybe it's this spiritual energy that's making you feel so good because really you can't beat the energy that's coming out for you. Present energy right here. Some of you may be looking for a Taurus as well. Hierophant energy represents Taurus energy. But I feel like what it's pointing out, some of you may have, I don't know, you may have recently pulled into your spirituality, right? Maybe, you know, not that church has to, and spirituality have to go hand in hand, but sometimes they do for some people. So for some of you, you know, you may have found religion recently, right? Or some of you may have worked your way out of religion and found a different form of spirituality for yourself. All right, let's go down and let's clarify the challenging energy, which is Aries energy. Please clarify challenge for Leo. All right, hang on, I know a card flipped. Or I should say, I at least, yo, it did flip. Okay, so first energy we have clarifying authority is the Three of Cups. Three of Cups represents friendships. It represents celebration. Uh, I'm not sure why that's coming out on authority. Let's clarify the Three of Cups. Let's clarify the Three of Cups for Leo, please. Okay, so the energy that's coming in to clarify the three of cups is the queen of swords so three of three of cups clarifying aries energy with authority and authority is coming in as as the challenging energy the queen of swords Aries, excuse me aquarius gemini libra energy queen so we think of female but it doesn't have to be i feel like it's representing an energy that's available to you, right? She's holding a sword. You use the sword to cut away and to remove any energies in your life that aren't serving you, you know? So, I mean, we have the energy of friendship right here, right? So some of you, you may have friends in your life that for whatever reason may be pulling from your power, right? So this is bringing this to your awareness so that, because you're, you're probably feeling and experiencing this, but you may not be aware of what you're feeling and experiencing and exactly why. And that's why this queen is coming in attached to this three of cups. Uh, so, yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean, you know, cutting away friends, but it can mean cutting away certain energies with regards to friendships. This seemed to be taking your power in some way. 
I don't know, maybe you have some friends that are just very dominating. Let's move down to focus on energy. Tell us about focus energy for Leo, please. Where should Leo be putting their focus? Okay, so we have two energies coming in to clarify. You have the Page of Cups, which is representing the energy of an offer of love. And it's coming in attached to the Six of Wands. So these energies are coming in where you should be putting your focus. So putting your focus towards, it doesn't have to be a person, right? It can be a job. It can be a hobby, an interest of yours. I'm supposed to be putting my focus in towards something that I love a lot, that I think a lot about in my life, something that brings me joy, that brings me happiness, something that allows me to feel like the sun is shining on my back. Maybe it makes me feel like a kid again. And when I'm in this energy, it takes me towards the energy of victory and triumph, right? So me reaching the top of this mountain, and it took a lot of work to get to the top of that mountain. So when I'm there, yeah, I feel exhilarated, right? Feel ready and willing to receive this reward. Interesting. Let's move over to past energies. Tell us about past energies for Leo, please. All right, we've got one energy so far. It comes to us as the Eight of Cups, right? So Eight of Cups represents you walking away from something in your past. Walking out of the water, water can represent a lot of emotions and feelings. She's reaching up to grab the tree. It may have been difficult to walk away from. Please clarify the Eight of Cups for Leo, please. Well, whatever you're walking away from, you had the Knight of Swords, which is the bringer of truth. He came in and he brought you a truth towards something. And a truth that said, hey, you need to walk away from this energy. And then... That put many of you in the energy of the hanged man, where it's like, now I need to step back and I need to think about this, right? Because I'm getting this feeling that I need to walk away from something in my life. Maybe I was walk maybe I'm being encouraged to walk away from a friendship in my life, right? But here I am thinking about it right here. And then you're moving into the next energy, some of you, where, yeah, I did what it took. I walked away from this energy. Interesting. Let's move up to strengths, Leo. Tell us about strengths for Leo, please. Okay, so energy's coming in, showing up is your strength. You have the two of swords, right? Your strength, your ability to make this choice, to make this decision, right? And by making this choice and making this decision for yourself, it brought in changes to you. Cancer energy right here. For some of you, it may have brought you a cancer. For those of you that are attached to a cancer. But coming in as your strength is your ability to make a choice, to make this decision. And when I made the choice and when I made the decision, it brought in changes for you. Interesting. Let's move over to the future. Tell us about the future for Leo. Okay, so we're going from the past over to the over to the future now. So you did walk away from something because here you have the Ten of Swords. So something in your life came to an ending. Right? And whatever it was that came to an ending, it was something that you had invested a lot of energies into. Right, So if it was a person, you're pretty close to this person. You'd invested a lot of energies towards them. That's what the Seven of Pentacles tells us. Seeds that you had planted before. right, And those seeds, for whatever reason, they didn't work out. So an ending had to, took, had to take place. Let's move over to Suggested Approach for you. Tell us about Suggested Approach for Leo, please. Okay, all right, so here's what's being pointed out to you, Leo. 
And I want to point out that you have the Sun as the first two energies coming in for you on your tarot reading here. So here we have the Moon energy, right? It's just the opposite energy of the Sun. When I'm out in the sunlight, I can see everything in, it, in, its, in its fullness. Everything makes sense. I, I can understand all things. When I'm in the Moon energy, it's like I'm out at night and I'm trying to see my way around with the light of the Moon which really caused me to trust, right? Those primal instincts within me. Look, so if you're Leo and you're in this energy, you're being reminded, right? That this is your strength when you're in this energy, right? When you're in this energy, you, have to, you need to have the strength and the courage to take a chance. And some of you, this is exactly what you did. You took a chance, right? With this eight of cups of whatever you're walking away from, right? And in doing so, it, it caused you to feel and to recognize your strength. Why do you feel and recognize your strength? Because look, at the end of the day, you know that it wasn't easy. It wasn't. It was not an easy thing for you to do, Leo. All right, what it is you need to know. You got changes coming in, Leo. Tell us more about the Wheel of Fortune for Leo. Okay, we've got two more energies coming in to clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Here we have the unknown card. I'm looking into the future and I want to see what things look like, right? I know that there is a beginning coming, right? And I want to know what, the, what, the, what does this beginning look like? But the crystal ball is somewhat clouded, right? Maybe that's why this moon card is coming in. This is about trusting, trusting your intuition, trusting that you've made the right choice, the right decision. And the fact that you have made the right choice, the right decision, here you have changes that are coming in for you. Hopes and fears. Tell us about hopes and fears for Leo, please. All right, so coming in as hopes and fears, you have three energies. Eight of Wands represents speed and movement, right? I want speed and movement coming in to remove this Five of Swords energy, to feel, feeling like I, you know, I was maybe stabbed in the back by somebody, right? It's, it's the opposite energy of love, of unconditional love. Your hope is, oh, excuse me, upside down. Your hope is Queen of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. Some of you may have a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer coming into your life. I mean, we had Cancer and Pisces energy show up here in your tarot reading. So I feel like that will be the case, well, two times with Pisces and Cancer. So yeah, maybe hoping for this Queen of Cups to come into your life. This is somebody who's understanding, somebody who's loving, somebody who's just a great mother, a great friend, a great neighbor. She has both feet in the water though, so sometimes she can be a little bit emotional at times. Potential future for Leo. You got the Empress coming out, Leo. Maybe it says Queen of Cups coming into your life that's bringing you this Empress energy. Tell us more about potential future for Leo. Three of Wands. I'm looking at the journey that lies ahead. Some of you may be stepping into a new journey with this Empress energy. Uh, Empress energy represents, by way of Zodiac, Taurus or Libra energy. So here you are in the energy of the Empress where, look, if I'm surrounding myself around the Empress energy, right, I'm surrounding myself around those people that recognize and feel their value, those people that have nothing but love to give and to share. And inevitably, those energies become contagious to you, right? That They, they inevitably rub off and, and cause, they, they affect you and pretty soon you're embracing this Empress energy. So yeah, I feel great about things. I feel my value, I feel my worth. And here I am looking at the journey that lies ahead. And what a beautiful thing because I'm stepping into this journey either with an empress or with an empress or with the empress energy or both. Pretty fantastic for you, Leo. All right. I think I'm done with this portion of your tarot reading. Uh, for those of you that want to follow me over to Vimeo, I'm going to do an extended tarot reading for you on uh, Leo. I want to get some clarification. And I love the clarifiers because those are the details, right? And I like to get the details. I want to clarify the sun, your energy, taking us into your reading. Uh, I think I want to get a little more clarification on the challenging energy, which is Aries energy of authority, you know, filling in my power. I also want to clarify this three of cups energy as well, because I feel like that three of cups has some 
real significance and importance here in your tarot reading. Um, I'd like to clarify the Eight of Cups, whatever this is you're walking away from. I want to clarify Cancer's energy showing up as the Chariot, the Moon energy, Pisces, or Cancer energy. And then I want to clarify the Wheel of Fortune to see if we can gain a better idea of what these changes look like that are coming into your life. And we have the Unknown card here too. I may clarify the Unknown card. And then I also want to clarify this Empress energy. And I want to see what the journey looks like moving forward for you, Cancer. Possibly with this Empress energy. Let's just see what those energies look like. I'm going to use my good Tarot Tarot set and then clarify from that. So for those of you that want that are resonating with this reading, that want to follow me over there, you can do so by clicking on the link found just below this Tarot reading. And I'll see you over there. And for the rest of you, this is where we part ways and say goodbye. Thank you so much for the love and the support that you provide to me. It's because of you that all of this is possible. So thank you so much. Kaleo. April looks exciting for you. Wishing you all the very best. I'll see the rest of you over at Vimeo.